Hi everybody, my name is Frank Weiss and I'm the program director of the Hopkins MS program in Applied Economics. Our Applied Economics program offers both on-site and online courses for graduate students. The degree can be earned completely on-site, completely online, or through both modes. We offer an extraordinarily broad variety of electives, uh, 27 of them all together, soon to be 31. Rather than list them all, if you take a look at the slide, I've uh, grouped the courses by area. You don't have to focus on any particular area. You can mix and match as you wish. All of these subjects can be studied on site, and many of them can be studied online. The slide shows you which are available online. The foundation of this program is excellent teaching, and over the years we have amassed a wonderful collection of highly trained teachers. All our faculty have PhDs, and many have published in refereed journals. If we were a liberal arts college, we would have an extraordinarily excellent teaching faculty, and other liberal arts colleges would be very, very envious. Another important thing about our program is to understand that we are not offering merely an online program. Rather, we are offering an online program next to and equally with our on-site program. So that the instructors who teach online either have or are currently teaching the same courses on-site. There are many different ways of uh, presenting material online. Uh, the way we do it is through asynchronous learning. This means that no two people in the course have to be online at the same time. You go online when you have time to go online. However, most instructors, all instructors, have online office hours uh, where you can be online simultaneously with the instructor. Here is an example of a narrated PowerPoint presentation from one of our online offerings, the uh, Macroeconomic Theory course. The structure is Professor Sanjay Chu. The results on the previous slide were based on microeconomic evidence on the intensive margin, the average response, of a given individual. As I said, the other question, the non-search and matching question, on the second practice problem set, takes you some way towards resolving that issue purely within a realm that makes you focus on the intensive margin by itself, ignoring completely the extensive margin. To summarize, macro labor issues have been a long-standing set of issues in the macroeconomics literature, ones that have been given a lot of thought. We'll come to imperfections in financial markets and imperfections in goods markets as well, but labor markets seem to be where some very basic issues, basic imperfections, seem to lie. The Asynchronous Discussion Board is part of every online course. On this board, you can post your comments or reply to the comments of others at your convenience. Everyone can see the threads. As I said, we also have synchronous interactions available. Here's an example of what to expect from an online office hour. How do you maximize utility? Let's look at graphically. Is the y-axis, x-axis. This is the budget line and utility is maximized when indifference curve is tangent to the budget line. This is where you have maximum utility. Is it clear?
Thank you. Online education presents challenges and opportunities, not just for students, but also for the instructor. Here is the perspective of one instructor, Dr. John Schindler, on his online teaching. Hi, my name is John Schindler, and I teach macroeconomic forecasting online for the Advanced Academic Programs Applied Economics Program. I've been teaching online for about five years and teaching with the program for roughly twice that amount of time. One of the things about online classes that people often want to know is, you know, how do I learn? How, did, how does this environment differ from the classroom? And I would say my class is basically broken up into five components. There is a, a set of PowerPoint slides that are narrated, and you can listen to those whenever you want, and they have sort of the basics of each, uh, what I call a unit, which is two weeks worth of material. They have the basics of each unit, and you just listen to it whenever you want uh, and wherever you want. Then there's three core assignments. One is a homework assignment, just like you would have in a, a, an in-person class. And this homework assignment is posted from the first day of the unit and you have two weeks to complete it. I encourage students to work in groups. Uh, through the groups they get a lot of interaction with each other, they learn from each other, uh, and this is a graded assignment. Then there's also a quiz, and this is one person taking a quiz at, at whatever time they want over the two week period that they have. Uh, it's automatically graded, they get the answers along with some feedback right away. The most important part for my particular class, this interactive assignment that I have, is posted uh, a few days into each unit. And basically it's some material, some data or some charts or something like that. Students are grouped so that there's never more than five or six people in a group, and they respond to the material that I post. It might be some data where they're expected to model it or forecast it. It might be a model and they're asked to critique it. They work with each other, so they're interacting, they're commenting on each other's work, uh, but then I will also comment uh, every other day or so and sort of push them in the right direction. Interesting idea, have you thought about this? And that is posted usually for eight days, and they are graded on participation. They're asked to participate on four days out of those eight. So again, it's free form. There's people participating at three in the morning. There's people participating in the middle of the day. And then the last piece of the way I interact with the students on a regular basis is online office hours. These are typically held in the evening. They're live. Students can type questions. Students can speak. There's, there's microphone rights as well. And you get your questions answered. Uh, or if not, I, I promise to try to answer them as soon as I can figure out the answers. Uh, they're also recorded and posted so that any student who wants to come and, and see the office hours but they couldn't make the live version is welcome to do so. And those are sort of the five key components of the way that students interact with me and with each other uh, in my class. And here is the perspective of a student. program offers me a unique opportunity because I live 80% of my time in New York City and the Applied Economics program offers much of its curriculum online. I've taken a third of my class time here at Hopkins online and so I just wanted to say that the online curriculum here is excellent. Um, I come from an environment where I really set high expectations on my scholastic achievement and I have been completely satisfied with the online curriculum. The professors, of course, we know they're prestigious and, and uh, offer incredible instruction, but they offer that instruction in an amazing way. The, uh, the online facilities, the, the lectures, the, the multimedia applications that that they offer their instruction with is is amazing. The interactions I have with classmates, you know, don't think because it's online you don't have discussion forums that are meaningful. I have those. I've actually made friends outside the classroom with people simply electronically. So so I'm networking, and uh, you know I've at, made personal connections with some of my professors as well. It's been an excellent experience for me. If you have any questions, please feel free to email either me or the, my colleague, the Associate Program Director, Dr. Ahmed Mahmoud. Our contact information is on the slide.